What's going on, mortals? Mortal T here, and today we're back on Immortals Phoenix Rising for another like little guide video. Um, we're gonna cover one of the myth challenges that are usually scattered throughout the map. Here, uh, there are different ones as you can see there. That's a navigation one. You have right there. There was one over. here. Here, there was this one, Fresco. Anyway, there's multiple, uh, multiple of them scattered across the entire map. And when you complete them, they give you coins so you can actually upgrade your abilities. When I mean abilities, I mean these ones right here your skills and your godly powers. So these coins are very important because they do help you upgrade some stuff. The one, the myth challenge that I'm going to be covering today are the liars. Now, I know that's a funny word, liars, but they're basically mean four-stringed harps. That's basically all it is, four-stringed harps. So I'm going to be giving you all the locations that you need to find all four of them in this region. This region here. Well, you can't even see the name. Valley, uh, Valley of the Eternal Spring. So yeah, all there's four locations overall on this map. And I'm going to show you every single one of them very, very quickly. So the first one is right here on here. On this one, there is a challenge. You have to uh, light all the lantern, well, the braziers. I'm pretty sure these things are called. You have to light them all up with your arrows. Also, I'm pretty sure there's a legendary boss battle on here as well. So be very, very careful. But once you have uh, unlocked this, the red barrier has gone away. You'll actually go in here. You'll get a chest, and that's where the liar is. You have to listen to it, and it'll give you the cords that you need. So, once you have all of them, you can actually go to the big liar, which is on the map right here. So, the myth challenge big liar, once you have all four locations, all four musical notes or songs played, you have to come to here and put them all in so you can collect your rewards. But yeah, this is the first location. Let me show me, I'm going to show you right on the map. There we go, we cleared it up a bit. So here is the Temple of the Gods. And if you'd basically just follow this like blood red river all the way uh, all the way up, it's around here. It's right next to the border. So yeah, that is the first location. It is up pretty high. And it is uh, slanted to one side because it's kind of a mess. Uh, so yeah, that is the first location. Let's move on to the other three. Here is the second location, mortals. It's right on a small island, and you'll have to unlock this area here to get access to it. On the map right here, this is where the second location is. On this small island, just off this small island. <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty easy to spot on this one. It's literally on an island on its own and it's really very hard to miss. So once you make it onto this island there will be a bunch of enemies that you will have to take down just so you can do this. And then to open the door it's pretty much very very easy. You just have to uh, light this brazier, activate the button, there's another brazier and button over there, and there's another one just behind the temple. You have to do uh, all three, that means light the braziers and activate the buttons. And you see that's where the statue is, and then you will unlock this place here, which contains a chest and another liar. Which you can hear is actually playing faint music right here. And as you can see, I get a prompt on this one saying play. So if you just play it, the, you'll see the strings move in different colours. And that is the order that you'll have to do it on in the big layer. So let's move on to the third location. 
So, this is the third location, as you can see here, the harp is playing in the background there, but let's show you on the map exactly where this one is. So, it is here, uh, that's where the statue is, where you have to climb up and scout the whole area to unlock it. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of near there, there is a vault that was there, it's kind of to the left of there. It's hard to actually give you proper directions, but... If you come to this area, you will uncover it. No worries. So, to unlock this one, because there's usually a red barrier on this door, there's only one small thing you have to do, but yet again, it unlocks a chest and another liar. So, when you come here, this statue right here will not be here. There will be a solid block of marble or granite or whatever it's supposed to be made of. This kind of stuff here, it will be a solid rectangle going all the way up all you have to do is hit it with your hammer a few times and it'll boom bust apart and you'll create the statue which will then unlock the doorway which you can go in so that is the harp i'll quickly play it for you mortals but that is the third location let's move on to the last location so here we are at the fourth location, mortals. Yet again, there will be enemies right here at the very beginning that you will have to defeat. And then you will obviously have to complete the challenge to unlock all this. But it's very, very easy. We need to pick up a box. Uh, put it on here. Boom. Which will then start unlocking those doors. Now, there are several buttons that you will need to activate when you go around here, so you will need to be careful. As you can see, I've already activated all three of them, so the door is open back there, but you will have to swim in the water to get all these. You will have to dive down and navigate through the entire, well, not the entire water. If I can get to them quickly, I will show you all the locations. So you want to go through the second door, which is open. Keep swimming around. Uh, there is the first button. You can activate that one. And there is a, another button under here as well. That is the third button. And if we go up for breath right here, there is a third button right there. So very, very easy to activate all them. Which you then have to go over, uh, through this door. Which wasn't open before. Come in here. There might have been something else you have to do. But I can't remember exactly. But anyway. Once, you, once you've opened the door. You'll, it, it's pretty easy and to figure out. So once you open the door. You'll obviously get another chest chest. And another one of these liars. So I'm going to quickly play it. But once you have visited all four locations, mortals, then you can go to the big liar location. But for the fourth location, it's literally up here where all these... Well, on the map, it looks pretty bright and colorfully blue and everything. So, yeah, it's literally there. It's pretty hard to miss. Once you come to this area, if you just scout, you will find it very easily. But once you have got all four locations you visited all all four locations and now you have got the liar tunes you'll then come over to the big liar right here that on the map so once you have come to the big liar this is where you will have to play all four tunes that you have learned or seen uh, I have already done the first one by accident. Uh, I don't know how. I just memorized it off the top of my head. Very, very easy. Um, but now to play this big harp, all you have to do is shoot arrows at the string that you need to be played. So I'm going to shoot a few here just to show you. And boom. That is one of the tunes that you need to learn because then... Once you've done that, it will play it again for you. And then it will open one of these portals, which when you collect, it will give you some of the coins that you need to start upgrading your abilities. So, boom, it gave me four there. So, I'm going to actually go and unlock all these right now. There 
There we have it. We'll unlock another one, see how many coins we get. That's this one. So we'll collect this one. That only gave us two. Let's hope this last one gives us something better than two or four. Boom. Right, come on. Last one has got to give us some more coins, right? Do, 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 do. Booyah. I'm hoping to get like six or something. Two. We only got two. <laughs> but there you have it, Mortals. That is all the lawyer locations and all the tunes and everything. So you will need to do these because these coins are very important, like I said. It helps you upgrade your abilities, which you really want to do as quick as you possibly can to try and make your person or warrior or mortal as strong as it possibly can be. So, Mortals, I hope this helped you out. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.